What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 6 First Look. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over each position and give you my first look top DFS picks for NFL Week 6. And if you stay to the very end after all my picks and after I show you the draft dashboard tools, I'll give you my super secret sleeper pick that no one's talking about. Okay, before I get started with this week six first look, I want to give you guys the week six injury report. This is injury news early in the week, so make sure to stay tuned to our final look video for a more up-to-date injury report recap. But so far in week six, the fresh injuries are David Johnson, the running back for the Arizona Cardinals. He had a back issue, but is expected to be fine. Sammy Watkins, the wide receiver for the Chiefs, he left the game with a hamstring injury. So that's a bump in targets to the Kansas City pass catchers if Sammy Watkins misses. Brandon Cooks, the wide receiver from the Rams, he suffered a concussion, so if he misses, that's a bump to Cup in Woods. Wayne Gallman, the running back for the Giants, he left the game with a concussion, so we'll keep an eye on him. Philip Dorsett, the wide receiver from the Patriots, he pulled a hammy early in the game versus the Redskins. That injury hurt me quite a bit last week. I ended up having lots of Dorsett as a pivot off the Auden Tate chalk, and that injury cost me. That's DFS though, and that's why you should limit your exposure to any one player so they can't kill more than 30 to 35% of your lineups. Steelers quarterback Mason Rudolph is expected to be out this week with a concussion. So that's not good news for the Steelers pass catchers. So that's our injury report early in the week for week six. Now let's get into this first look. Okay guys, FanDuel and DraftKings week six, first look at the quarterback position. I like Lamar Jackson from the Baltimore Ravens playing the Cincinnati Bengals who have the sixth worst defense overall and they give up the seventh most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Lamar Jackson has averaged 26.5 fantasy points per game on the season. He only scored 14 fantasy points last game, but he had 14 rush attempts. He averages 10 rush attempts per game. He's projected at 21.2 fantasy points here in week six. Vegas thinks there's going to be 48 points scored in this game, and they've got the Baltimore Ravens ahead by 11. So this is a great matchup for Lamar Jackson. It's a home game. I could see him scoring a touchdown with his legs. So I like Lamar Jackson here versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Okay, moving down in salary a little bit, Lamar Jackson was 6,900 DraftKings salary and 1,300 more on FanDuel. This next pick is 6,500 on DraftKings, 1,200 more on FanDuel, so he's a little cheaper, and I think he's got the same upside. I like Kyler Murray from the Arizona Cardinals playing the Atlanta Falcons, who have the third worst defense overall, and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Kyler Murray has averaged 21.5 fantasy points per game on the season, he scored 25 fantasy points last game, and he rushed the ball 10 times. He's averaging 5.6 rush attempts per game, and those are smart rush attempts. He knows when to pass and when to pull the ball down and take off. He's projected at 18.1 fantasy points here in week six. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 52 points scored in this game. They've got Atlanta favored by two. So Arizona should be trailing, so Kyler Murray is going to need to use his legs, throw the ball downfield. This is a home game for Kyler Murray, so I like Kyler Murray here versus the Atlanta Falcons. And on the other side of the ball, why not start Matt Ryan from the Atlanta Falcons playing the Arizona Cardinals, who have the second worst defense overall and give up the third most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Matt Ryan is averaging 26.1 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 36 fantasy points last week. He doesn't rush the ball all that often, but he's super accurate. 
He makes good decisions with the football, and he's got some nice receiving targets in Julio Jones, Mohamed Sanu, Austin Hooper. He's surrounded with passing targets. He's projected at 22.2 fantasy points here in week six. He's 6,400 DraftKings salary and 1,700 more on FanDuel. We've got that high game total of 52 points that Vegas thinks is going to be scored in this game. So I like Matt Ryan here versus the Arizona Cardinals. Now coming down in salary, I like Jimmy Garoppolo from the San Francisco 49ers playing the LA Rams who have the ninth worst defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing quarterbacks. Jimmy Garoppolo has averaged 15.6 fantasy points per game on the season. He got 15 fantasy points last game. It looked like he could have really broke it open and got to the 20 plus fantasy point mark, but that game was a blowout. Jimmy didn't need to throw the ball. He's averaging four rush attempts per game. He's got tons of offensive weapons. He's only 5,700 DraftKings salary and 1,500 more on FanDuel. He's projected at 17 fantasy points here in week six. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 49 points scored in this game, so that's a high game total, a competitive game. They've got the Rams favored by four. I think this is a shootout, so I like Jimmy Garoppolo here versus the LA Rams. Now moving down in salary even more, a couple of low salary quarterbacks that I like here in week six. I like Kirk Cousins and Gardner Minshew for right around 5,000 DraftKings salary, 1,800 more on FanDuel. Minshew is averaging 19.5 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 27 fantasy points last week. He rushed the ball seven times. He's projected at 14.5 fantasy points here in week six, but I think that projection is still a little bit low. This guy's better than people think. And he's got a fantastic matchup versus the New Orleans Saints, who give up the third most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. This is a home game for Minshew, so I like Gardner Minshew here versus the New Orleans Saints. And the other guy we touched on, Kirk Cousins, it looks like he might be back. He's only averaging 14.1 fantasy points per game on the season, but he scored 24 fantasy points last week. He's 5,200 DraftKings salary. He's got a middle of the pack matchup versus the Philadelphia Eagles. This is a home game for Kirk Cousins. So I don't mind taking a chance on him to see if he can keep the momentum rolling from last week. So I like Kirk Cousins here versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, DraftKings and FanDuel, week six, First look at the running back position. I like Alvin Kamara from the New Orleans Saints playing the Jacksonville Jaguars who have the sixth worst defense overall and they give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Alvin Kamara is averaging 19.4 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 17 fantasy points last game. He's getting an average of 15 rush attempts per game, 6.2 pass targets last game. That was right in line with last week. He got 16 rush attempts, seven pass targets. He's projected at 21.2 fantasy points here in week six. He's got a great matchup versus a weak Jacksonville Jaguars defense. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 44.5 points scored in this game. They've got Jacksonville favored by one, so close game, competitive game. I think you're gonna see low ownership on Alvin Kamara, but he's a high volume player in a great matchup, so I like Alvin Kamara here in week six. Moving down in salary a little bit, I like Nick Chubb from the Cleveland Browns playing the Seattle Seahawks, who've got a middle of the pack defense overall. They're middle of the pack versus running backs, Nick Chubb has scored 20.3 fantasy points per game on the season. 
He had a down day with only 11 fantasy points last week, but they were down all game. They couldn't get the running game going, so it was a bad game script for Nick Chubb. He's averaging 18.8 rushes per game and four pass targets per game. He's projected at 18.6 fantasy points here in week six. He's 7,300 DraftKings salary and 500 more on FanDuel. He's on the field for 75% of the snaps and he touches the ball 46% of the time. So monster usage. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 47 points scored in this game and they've got the Browns favored by two and a half. This is a home game. So I like Nick Chubb here versus the Seattle Seahawks. Okay guys, if you're getting any value from this video, please hit that red subscribe button. We put out new fantasy football videos every day. So if you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification, you won't miss out on any of our new fantasy football videos. Tons of free stuff coming your way. It only takes a second and it helps us push out more fantasy football content for you guys to consume each and every day. It's because of you subscribers that make this possible. So thank you for supporting this channel. Coming down in salary just a little bit more. Another player who I think is still underpriced. I like Le'Veon Bell from the New York Jets playing the Dallas Cowboys who have a good defense overall, but they give up the ninth most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Le'Veon Bell is averaging 17.8 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 16 fantasy points last game. He's averaging 17.8 rushes per game and eight targets per game. He's on the field for 94% of the snaps, touches the ball 44% of that time. So he is the New York Jets offense. Projected at 17.6 fantasy points here in week six. He's 6,400 DraftKings salary and only 400 more on FanDuel. So I love that price on both sites. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 43.5 points in this game and Dallas is favored by eight and a half. But Le'Veon Bell is game script independent. He's out there racking up fantasy points. If the Jets are ahead or behind, it doesn't matter. He's out there on the field. This is a home game, so I like Le'Veon Bell here versus the Dallas Cowboys. Another guy that I like around the same salary range is Chris Carson for the Seattle Seahawks playing the Cleveland Browns, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the seventh most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Chris Carson has averaged 16.9 fantasy points per game on the season, he scored 22 fantasy points in his last two games, getting an average of 18.8 .8 rush attempts per game and 3.4 pass targets per game. He's projected at 15 fantasy points here in week six. He's only 6,000 DraftKings salary and 1,200 more on FanDuel. So the way the Cleveland Browns looked, Seattle could get up big time on the Browns. Although Vegas thinks it's gonna be close, I think they're going to go to the running game versus the Cleveland Browns. You saw what Matt Breda did to the Browns on Monday night. So I think Chris Carson can gash him on the ground. Implied total of 47 points in this game. It's a great matchup. So I like Chris Carson here versus the Cleveland Browns. Now way down in salary here, it's a guy going under the radar. I like Joe Mixon from the Cincinnati Bengals playing the Baltimore Ravens who have the 10th worst defense overall, and they give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Joe Mixon has only averaged 9.8 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 12 fantasy points last game. It looked like he was gonna blow the game open in that first quarter, but the Bengals fell behind in that game, so they were forced to pass the ball. Joe Mixon gets an average of 13.2 rush attempts per game, and 3.2 pass targets per game. But he got 19 rush attempts last game. He's projected at 15.3 fantasy points here in week six. He's only 5,500 DraftKings salary and 900 more on FanDuel. There's an implied total of 48 points in this game with the Bengals down by 11. But Joe Mixon is a pass catching back. And if he gets it going like he did last week, 
he should have a pretty good game this week. So I like Joe Mixon here versus the Baltimore Ravens. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL, MLB is still going, NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay guys, week six, NFL, DFS, first look at the wide receiver position. So Julio Jones has been letting us down. I do think he's in a great spot versus the Cardinals this week. So he's definitely gonna be in my lineups. Michael Thomas has been balling. He's gonna be in my lineups. But coming way down in salary from those top price studs, I like Adam Thielen from the Minnesota Vikings playing the Philadelphia Eagles who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Adam Thielen is averaging 16.8 fantasy points per game on the season. He had 35 fantasy points last week. We saw that coming. He's averaging six targets per game on the season, but he got eight pass targets last week and made the most of every single one of them. He's on the field for 91% of the snaps and touches the ball 11% of that time. He's projected at 14.5 fantasy points here in week six, and he's still only 6,700 DraftKings salary, 500 more on FanDuel, and Vegas thinks there's going to be 44 points scored in this game, and they've got the Vikings ahead by two and a half. So a close game, competitive game, this is a home game. So I like Adam Thielen to continue his momentum here in week six. And moving down in salary even more, I like Larry Fitzgerald from the Arizona Cardinals playing the Atlanta Falcons who have the third worst defense overall and give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Larry Fitzgerald is averaging 16.6 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 12 fantasy points last game. He gets an average of 8.8 .8 targets per game. He got eight targets last game. I expected a little bit more from him in week five, but I think those touchdowns come here in week six. He's projected at 15.6 fantasy points in week six. And he's 6,100 DraftKings salary and 500 less on FanDuel. So I love that FanDuel price. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 52 points scored in this game with the Cardinals behind by two. Pass script for Fitzgerald. It's a home game. David Johnson was banged up a little bit, which can only help Larry Fitzgerald's cause. Maybe more pass targets going his way. So I like Larry Fitzgerald here versus the Atlanta Falcons. Now moving down in salary just a bit, I like Demarcus Robinson from the Kansas City Chiefs playing the Houston Texans who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they give up the eighth most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Demarcus Robinson is averaging 13.2 fantasy points per game on the season. He's had a rough couple of outings, only six and eight fantasy points in his last two games, but he's got the targets, six and nine targets, so he's plenty involved in the offense. And now with Sammy Watkins hindered, might be out this week. Subscribe to this channel so you can get notified of our final look video when it comes out later this week. We're gonna do the injury recap again and break down all the fantasy impact of those injuries. That Sammy Watkins injury may benefit Demarcus Robinson, who's projected at 11.1 .1 fantasy points here in week six. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 55.5 points scored in this game with the Kansas City Chiefs leading by four and a half. This is a home game for the Chiefs, a bounce back spot for the Kansas City Chiefs. Great matchup, especially because of that injury to Sammy Watkins. I like Demarcus Robinson here versus the Houston Texans. Now way down here in salary, 
This is one of my favorite plays of the week. I like DJ Chark from the Jacksonville Jaguars facing the New Orleans Saints who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. DJ Chark is averaging 22.3 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 39 fantasy points last game off of 11 pass targets. He's averaging 7.4 pass targets per game. He's projected at 11.4 fantasy points here in week six, and he's only 5,500 DraftKings salary and 1,000 more on FanDuel. So this is a great matchup, a home game. This is a talented wide receiver. So I like DJ Chark here versus the New Orleans Saints. Okay, week six, DraftKings and FanDuel. First look at the tight end position. There's only a few tight ends I wanna play this week. Let's start at the top with Zach Ertz from the Philadelphia Eagles playing the Minnesota Vikings, who have a good defense overall, but they're only middle of the pack defending opposing tight ends. Zach Ertz has averaged 13.6 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 17 fantasy points last game off of seven targets, He's averaging nine targets per game on the season. He's on the field for 90% of the snaps and he touches the ball 14% of that time. So great usage at the tight end position. He's projected at 13.9 fantasy points here in week six. He's 5,400 DraftKings salary and 1,200 more on FanDuel. So I like Zach Ertz here versus the Minnesota Vikings. I like these top tier tight ends. I don't want to get risky at the tight end position this week. So I like George Kittle from the San Francisco 49ers versus the LA Rams who have the ninth worst defense overall and give up the 14th most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. George Kittle scored 21 fantasy points last week. He's averaging 13.6 fantasy points per game on the season. He's getting about 7.3 pass targets per game. He got eight pass targets last game. He's on the field for 89% of the snaps and touches the ball 11% of the time. I think it could have been a bigger game for George Kittle if they weren't ahead the whole game, if it wasn't a blowout, but he still put up numbers. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 49 points scored in this game with the San Francisco 49ers favored by four. So I like George Kittle here versus the LA Rams. And the other tight end that I like this week is Austin Hooper from the Atlanta Falcons playing the Arizona Cardinals, who are the second worst defense overall, and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to the tight end position. They haven't been able to stop any tight end so far this year, and now they've got Austin Hooper, who's averaging 17.5 fantasy points per game on the season, in an average of 8.4 pass targets per game. He's on the field for 82% of the snaps and touches the ball 14% of that time. He's projected at 12.7 fantasy points here in week six. That huge game total of 52 points in this game. Fantastic matchup, couldn't get any better. I don't know how you don't play Austin Hooper this week. His price is still low for the production and the opportunity that he has here versus the Cardinals. So I like Austin Hooper here versus the Arizona Cardinals. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. You've unlocked the bonus content. Okay, my super secret sleeper pick here in week six is Preston Williams from the Miami Dolphins playing the Washington Redskins who have the third worst defense overall and give up the third most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Preston Williams has averaged 10.3 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 7.5 pass targets per game. He's on the field for 74% of the snaps and he touches the ball 17% of the time. He's projected at 10 fantasy points here this week 
and he's only 4,100 DraftKings salary and 1,500 more on FanDuel. This is a home game for the Dolphins, and the reason I like this pick is because the Dolphins are always behind. Now they've got a fantastic matchup versus the Washington Redskins, two bad teams. The Washington Redskins got one of the worst defenses in the league. I think Preston Williams busts loose and gets in the end zone. So I like Preston Williams here versus the Washington Redskins. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.